In this video, I'll help you identify the differences between the lead and lag pip, why they both are capable means of lighting up your target, and why in the end I prefer lag pip over lead. First, let's establish what's what. The blue center graphic is the crosshair. The red square is the pip. In a lead pip configuration, the pip is attached to the target and leading ahead, showing you where to place your crosshair in order to land your shot's center mass of your target. The pip adjusts based on your relative speeds and distance. Lead pip is typically found in space combat games and aeroplane combat games with arcade indicators such as War Thunder. In a lag pip configuration, the pip is attached to your crosshair and lagging behind it, showing you where your rounds will impact the target precisely. You no longer aim with the crosshair, but instead aim with the lag pip by placing it anywhere on the target. Lag pip is typically found in real-world combat aircraft and games like DCS that aim to mimic their real-life counterparts. Let's take a closer look at lead pip first. The primary disadvantage in a lead pip configuration is that you're never looking at your target. Instead, you're always looking at an artificial box while working to line up your crosshair there. This makes it harder to determine exactly where on the target you'd like to land your shots as you'd have to aim offset off of an artificial lead pip box without looking at your target. Also, spending less time looking at your target means that you're more likely caught by surprise when the target changes their heading as you're reacting to a lead pip box only and need a little more time to react. Let's take a closer look at lag pip now. The primary advantage here is that you're always looking directly at your target, with the lag pip lined up. This makes it much easier to decide exactly where you'd like your rounds to impact the target. If you're looking to hit the target slightly ahead of center mass, just line up the lag pip there. The crosshair could practically be removed off screen as it isn't used. As you're always looking directly at your target, you'll more quickly notice and react to any changes they make in terms of their heading giving you more opportunity to adjust accordingly. And that's truly all there is to it. In essence, lead pip tells you where to place your crosshair to hit, while lag pip tells you where your shots will impact the target. With lead, you put your crosshair on the pip. With lag, you put your lag pip on the target. I also wanted to give a mention to how CIG has decided to incorporate dynamic gun convergence to aid in landing your round on target. Where a game like Elite Dangerous did not see any sort of converges settings, meaning that ships like the Ferdelands would become meta as their weapons were close together and outperforming a ship like the Imperial Clipper where the guns were farther apart. Simply because gun converges could not be set, they would shoot at a wider angle. Sometimes shooting past targets because simply the rounds do not converge. Star Citizen has dynamic gun convergence based on your distance to your target even with fixed weapons. All weapons, including fixed weapons, will converge so that their rounds will hit the target regardless of distance. When flying without a target, you can set your default converges in the settings menu in case you'd like to make sure you can hit a target at a preferred range without having the ability to target them. Alright citizen, I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you out there in the verse.